So with every single iPhone out there, you might be wanting to go ahead and recover some data that you accidentally deleted. Now, luckily for us, within our iPhones, there are many ways of recovering data from our iPhone without even having to do anything crazy anymore. So the first things first, if you want to recover deleted iMessages or messages that you deleted in general, even text, you can actually recover them super easily from your particular iPhone. The first thing you're going to want to do is make your way over to your iPhone settings like this or your iPhone messages like this, and you want to click on the edit button in the top left corner. Now when you do that, you're going to see a new panel on iOS 16 or above that shows you show recently deleted. So what you can do is you can tap on the show recently deleted option. If you actually had a deleted text, so let's say I just went ahead and deleted this one. What I can do, tap on edit there, click on show recently deleted right there, and I can go ahead and basically recover that deleted data just by going through here. So now I can tap on here, I can click on recover at the bottom right, click on recover again, and I can basically recover that data literally just from clicking on a few buttons. Now recovering deleted photos is also very, very basic on your iPhone. So what you can do is you can click on your photos application just like this. And let's say I just went through and I actually deleted like all these photos. Let's say these photos I accidentally deleted. So click on here, click on delete. Well, in order for me to actually recover these, all I have to do here is hop out of this. So get into my main panel, which is this panel. Scroll down until I see recently deleted, which is at the very bottom. So it's not a new panel. It's been here for a while. But all you want to do here is tap on recently deleted, and then this panel is going to basically come up. So now all I have to do here is go and tap on select, and I can go and tap on basically all the particular you know, photos and every videos and all the stuff that I want. I can go and click on recover. So the bottom right, I can tap here. I can click on recover right there. Click on recover seven photos, and I can basically recover whatever photos I want basically just by doing that. And if I make my way back into here, you can see I've recovered all that type of information, which is so cool. Now, another thing you may want to try doing is recovering application data. Now, this one is kind of tough, but let's say I just went through and I deleted Snapchat or Facebook or Genshin Impact or whatever. You have to remember that a lot of these applications and games already have all your information built in into the application. So if I went through and I deleted these particular apps, all I would really have to do is just go through and reinstall those applications. And that's pretty much all I'm going to have to do. I don't have to go through anything crazy. I don't have to do like an app or restore or anything like that. All I'll have to do is just log back into the application and all that information and data should already be saved. Now, there can also be a time where sometimes you need to get other information that you may not have, you know, on the spot. So the only other way to do this is by utilizing backups or iCloud backups. So a way to kind of tell this is by making your way over to your settings application and to come into this page. Now, what you want to do is you want to tap on your name at the very top and you want to click on your name and you're going to come into this particular panel. Now here, you'll see this little option that says iCloud. What you want to do here is tap on the iCloud, which is right there. And you should see this little panel that comes up. It'll tell you, you know, some things that you have basically enabled or turned on. You should see how much data you have stored up on your iCloud drive. But also you'll see some things down here, which shows you your iCloud backup and some other stuff. Now under iCloud backup, which is right here, you want to click here and you should be able to see whether or not you have any backups available. So you can see that I do have some data that I did already have backed up on these particular backups. So what I can do actually is click on one of these older backups that I have, and I can go ahead and try to see and try to do a backup or restore and you know for these particular things. Now, what I would recommend doing is if you have another iPhone laying around, I would recommend going through and actually you know setting up that iPhone and then restoring one of these particular backups. So all I would do here is just restore some of these backups that I've already had. And that's another big thing I'd recommend doing too. That in and of itself can probably end up giving you a pretty good experience and probably, you know, giving you some data back. If you want to airdrop some of those photos or videos back to you or messages or whatever, you can do that within, you know, by restoring a backup on an older iPhone and sending them to your new iPhone as well. So that pretty much covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.